hi guys and uh, welcome back to the channel um today we're just gonna be doing some minimalist things um and i'm just gonna walk you through everything that i'm gonna be doing um basically what i'm doing right now is just getting organized in my kitchen which is the fridge the freezer i'm pretty much touching everything and looking trying to see what I need in my freezer and what I need to take out of my freezer I do check dates I do check for like anything that may look spoiled or has been inside of my refrigerator for a while um, and so um, this is what keeps me on track um, when I need to go to the grocery store and I'm not sure what I have on hand in my freezer I can always just go back to my little handy dandy um, freezer and fridge organizer and just kind of look at that um, I just place it inside of my purse and I'll go off of that because most likely babe or me hasn't been to the grocery store at all so I'll just look on that little list and I'll go by what I need um, if I find some things in the freezer that needs to be unboxed, like let's say waffles and things like that, I don't like to have the box stuck in the freezer because it takes up so much room. So what I do is just take it out of the box, break it down, and then put the waffles back in the freezer. Then also, um, in my fridge, I kind of look at everything to see um, what I'm missing there as well. Or if my fridge needs cleaning, um, I put that on my little handy dandy note like I need to clean my fridge ASAP. You guys, this minimalist journey has become so wonderful to me and I am glad that I have adapted to it. Um, in the next couple of weeks, I probably will be getting rid of some things, donating some things and um, just getting my house together in order. Um, like I say, I am not going to be in this apartment <laughs> after six months. So I'm really excited for the new change. Um, it's just really time for my son to have his own room and, you know, do things boyish, you know? Um, so he wants his space, so he'll have his own, you know, space in his own room and his own bathroom and he can do what he want in there. And I'm so ready for it. <laughs> but anyways, um, like you see me doing here, I'm just kind of doing the same thing I did in the freezer. This right here just keeps you um, informed what you need in your refrigerator um, and all that good stuff. So the next thing that I am going to be doing is pretty much showing you guys because I know I was supposed to be doing a deep declutter and minimalist uh, type of freezer um, vlog for you guys on my last vlog I don't I think I mentioned it to you guys what I was supposed to have been doing but babe had already cleaned and decluttered this fridge this freezer and it looks amazing to me but I will go back in behind him and just take check the dates and things that we need and get rid of some stuff that kind of been in there for a little bit well a while <laughs> And just restock the freezer. Um, and so I'm going to attempt to clean the top of the freezer on our freeze, uh, refrigerator, refrigerator, you guys. Um, I have not, and I am so ashamed and embarrassed to say when I first moved into this apartment, I've never gotten up there and just kind of looked around. I just kind of threw my stuff up there. I wiped it down, but I didn't get up there just to look. It's because I was so short and I didn't have a step stool then like I have one now. So I'm just getting up there trying to like um, get some organization going on up there. Um, and so you guys, when I tell y'all it was disgusting up there and it was very filthy 
up there it was i have like all my oils up there i have a recipe box you'll see in just a second that i had up there like all my stuff was up there and i'm so ashamed to say that it's so freaking nasty up there you guys i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you how freaking nasty it was it was so like i don't know if you can see it on camera but it it's not really showing see that nasty little stuff over there and it was some more stuff um that i was seeing and noticing on this like top of the freezer section i was just like oh my gosh like that like the cake um dish that was up there let's not mention babe broke the top of the cake dish that um after this video he broke it so we're just gonna go in with some all-purpose cleaning with bleach i got this at walmart um and then i got the mr clean wipe it pads i do want to say this if you're on a budget like i um definitely go to targets they have these it's like a um it's like a something like a mr clean um wipe it pads white out eraser packs but there are only um there are targets brand uh white out pads and they're more cheaper they're like a dollar 99 for three um which i think is really decent um and so they do have like a six pack too as well for like $3.99. Um, and that's a really fair price too as well. So if you're on some kind of budget, go to Target's. They always have like the cheaper brands there as well. If you're looking for just something to clean with. Um, so yeah, anyways, as you can tell, like it is so nasty, you guys. Like I, when I was up there, I was just like, how could I let this get so bad? And not even it's just ugh. <laughs> it's just nasty and i'm just like i store all in my mind my brain i'm just like i store all my food up here and just never got up here to see what was going on and it was just like as you can tell i'm like scrubbing and that scrubbing don't do any justice because i couldn't even get it off of there so i went looking and searching for something that i could like scrape it up um, up off of there and I felt like this little straw thing um and then I was just like no that ain't gonna do it so I found another like steel straw thing um pretty much threw in the trash and just kind of got it out the trash just to get this stuff up but girl you gotta have some really nice elbows to get these tough stains <laughs> out and I was struggling because I was just like, oh my gosh. And this was like one of those days where I just got off of work and I showered. And then I was just like, you know, you know what? Let me go into filming. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't came from work cleaning. Then I come home cleaning and it's crazy. But anyways, this whole minimal lifestyle is right for me. Okay. So I am really excited about like just going into this journey and I hope you guys are ready for all the cleaning and the organization and just, you know, all that good stuff because, sis, bruh, like, it's it's going to be really crazy. Um, and my boyfriend's, like, telling me, like, so you're going to throw all of, all of our stuff away? I'm like, whatever I need to throw away, whatever I need to donate, that's what we're going to do to have a minimalist home. I don't want stuff in my home. I don't want anything that I am not using in my home. I do not even want anything in my home that does not serve us any peace, joy, or uh, should I say wealth in our home <laughs> or any uh, positivity vibes in our home. Like I just think it's when you have so much stuff in your house that you can't think that's that's bring it on negativity inside your home. Um, I feel like you should get rid of those things because um, for one, I don't like like my cabinets and stuff like that. I don't like my cabinets to be like, as you can see over there, I got milk jugs over there. I got like all kind of stuff going on over there on that cabinet over there. Um, and so like, I want something that I could just get rid of everything and just be able to see my cabinet. I just want to see my cabinet. I want to see an empty cabinet. I don't want nothing else on there. The picture on the wall, that's like for my meals, um, dinner meal, dinner time. Um, that's going to come down and it's going to go to a lovely home or to the trash, whichever one. Um, but anyways, you guys, this is all the stuff that I got down from 
the top of the refrigerator. Um, and I'm just showing you what, like these little storage bins. I love the little clear storage bins that I can see through and know what I have and check dates. And I often clean these containers. Um, you guys, you have to clean those containers because there's always crumbs in there and just like little handprints all over them. My boyfriend with his handprints all over everything. I can tell who is messing with what because handprints <laughs> and so i have to constantly like maybe four or five times out the month um go up there and wash those containers because girl like you have to um so i normally this is how i'm gonna tell you what i do i normally go through everything like i say i touch everything i like everything to be the way i like it and my son, my boyfriend, they are like the craziest because they're like, mom, I mean, they're like, babe, he's like, babe, why you always got to be putting stuff so like neat or whatever. And then when I go back, they've always messed with stuff. They always mess with stuff. So you guys, for the peanut butter, I used to keep it on top of the fridge, but I feel like if you keep it on top of the fridge, it like, I don't know, it gets watery quick. Um, but, um. Or it gets oily or some sort like that. But I don't know, you guys. Um, So what I'm doing right now is just kind of uh, putting stuff back. Uh, putting stuff back where it's a, supposed to go on top of the refrigerator. And um, that little box thing that I had is like a recipe box, which I'm probably going to get rid of. My whole kitchen decor is going to change. Um, I think my kitchen decor was teal again, which I really tried to go gray in there. But I'm going to be changing it to black. Um, with my minimalist, the colors that I'm trying to go for is either cream, white, black, or clear. Um, and honestly, my wardrobe, all that is going to change. I just want peace. Okay, I just want peace and positivity vibes and those colors give me that. Um, and so right now I'm just kind of trying to figure out where I'm going to put my step stool um, because I did have it over there by the trash can and it's just like too much for me. Then I try to put it on the side of the fridge, which I feel the fridge has shifted on its own. So I did find a place right next to the uh, stove area, the cabinet. So what I'm going to do now, and this is something I always do. I do clean my trash can. I do do that because there's a lot of germs in there. There's a lot of food buildup in there. Um, so I would advise anyone that does not clean their trash can to start cleaning their trash can maybe twice out the week because that is really important for you and your home and your kids. Nobody wants to be smelling like, you know, smelling trash when they come into your home and it's not inviting. Um, and then also, if you have kids that are older, put them on some kind of cleaning routine too as well. They can clean that trash. Like my son, he know how to clean the trash. They can clean the trash. Um, if you don't want them to use any chemicals, which I don't allow my son to, um, give them some baby wipes or um, give them a, a nice warm towel and let them with soap on it and let them wash out. It's really fun for them to do that. And then they're just learning how to pretty much clean their trash can because kids love planting water. I've noticed that when my son was just like coming up, he loved to play with water and stuff like that. So that would be really fun for them to do outside. Um, and while they're having fun, they could be cleaning up something, sis. Okay. Um, but anyways, um, I got my Mr. Clean. I've been using this Mr. Clean the whole time, the whole entire time, y'all. I have not switched up my Mr. Clean. I just been washing it, um, washing it in that sink. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and um inside my this is my um my spray that I DIY. I love it. Um, but I did like you like you guys seen, I put the trash bag in there. I did clean inside of it off camera and then now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean all the way around it on the top 
inside because it has like a whole bunch of like food and stuff underneath the top of the trash. I'm just one of those people now, like before I can say I would not do this. But now since I'm in my whole minimalist phase, I want to do everything right. I want my house to be clean. I want my house to be in order. I want my house to be organized. I want my house to be inviting. And when people come into my house, I want them to smell like, oh my gosh, it smells good. And that's where Pretty Glam Babe Candle Co. comes in. My company, my candle company, you guys, make sure you go check that out. Um, and I want people to be invited into your home too and come into your house and be like, girl, what is that smell? It smells really good. Or bro, what is that smell? It smells really good. You know, and you just say, hey, it's Andrea Michelle, sis. It's her business, her can of code business, uh, her LLC business. Uh, so yeah. But anyways, um, yeah, so, <laughs> uh, I'm just cleaning that. Like I said, I'm just cleaning that trash out and stuff like that. I do make my own little wax melts, you guys. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to incorporate all this stuff on my website. Right now, we're just, we're just doing my 10-ounce candle. Um, but if you guys want to go ahead and support, please go ahead and support your mama. Um, and definitely um, go and buy a candle from my... My website, you guys, I got one candle and it's called Baby Blossom Babe and it smells amazing um, and I was really happy to make this candle because every time I made these candles, like Lily, I smelled like, like my heart was on like on 100, 1000. <laughs> it was on something because I was really, really like in a positive mood. Like that's just me. Um, so these kind of smell really, really good. My sister bought one. She loves it. Um, and then I have a couple of friends that bought them and they love them. So you guys go out and support me and go to my website at pretty glam, babe, candleco.com. That's pretty glam, babe, candleco.com. Um, and help your girl out, support your girl. Um, and yeah, so we're going to get ready to wash those clear organization, organization, organization bins, you guys. And I love suds. Like it's my favorite soap and I need to get some more of this. You can always find that soap at, I think, either Burlington, Ross or Marshalls. Um, and recently I have not found that soap anywhere. So I'm probably going to have to order it off of Amazon or if they sell it. Or I'm going to have to order it off of sus.com, I guess. And, yeah. But that soap has, that dish soap has really, like, saved my life. A little goes a long way. And I just recently ran out of it. I've been having that soap, no lie, you guys, for a year. A year. And it lasts me for a long time. And when I come by soap like that, I try to, like, stock up on it. Uh, and then I also love method soap. Method soap is like one of those soaps I love too. If you're one of those people that is not into chemical, um, chemical products and stuff like that, <clears throat> you can definitely use the method or so, so, uh, so soaps, um, or they have some more chemical free soaps as well that you can use. And then I do have my, scrubbing face scrubber i love it so much i forget the name of this scrubber but it is like my favorite um and so yeah i'm just going in giving it a not a deep wash because like always like the last time that i wash it like I, like i say i wash try to go in like three or four times a month and wash it so if i go in the third time i'll give it a deep wash if i go in the fourth time i'll give it a deep wash just depending on how i feel but this is not like a deep, deep wash because, girl, I try to get all of those organization bins and I go in. Okay. But anyways, I do try to wash it until I can get, like, I can see through it. <laughs> but anyways, I had a few extra, like, straws and stuff like down there that I need to wash off. Um, and so that's what I'm doing here. But let's talk a little bit about this whole minimalist thing that I'm going through. 
I know you guys probably like, dang, she didn't talk about me, but it is the way to go. It is a fresh breath of air. Like seriously, like when, when I decided to go minimalist, I went to my, I think it was my friend house and like just walking her house, her house is, her apartment's more smaller than mine's. And I'm looking like, oh my gosh, you don't have too much of anything. And she was like, it's just, and then when I felt it was peaceful too as well, cause she was like, every time I come in from work, it's peaceful. I don't have to worry about anything. My boyfriend jumped on board and we just decided to do this. So she has like, and she has like, like she's a very, very like strong minimalist. Like she's been this for a while. And so I'm just stepping into this. And so I'm just like, I want that. I don't, I don't want so much in my house. Like, it's just like, I just, like I said, it feel, it's feel peaceful walking into your house, knowing that you're walking into a house and you don't have to worry about, oh, I got to clean this or I got to clean that. Or oh, I need to do this or I need to do that. Because with minimalists, you don't have to deep clean. You don't have to clean, clean. Um, because your house is just, you know, it's, most people say bare. There's nothing there. <laughs> but in my house, I want something here because I don't want to be in an empty house. Um, so my minimus is basically a cleaning minimus. Like, I don't want so much products in my home. Like, I don't want under my cabinets. I want it to be cluttered. I am so fearful of clutter. Like when I first moved in this apartment, I my, like my house was cluttered because I had to bring stuff from my last apartment to this apartment. And it was so much stuff, you guys. And then I had stuff in my storage and it was so much stuff. So I had to go through everything in the storage. I had to go through everything in my last apartment that was here. And it was just so much stuff going on, you guys. So I just wish I I had a known what I know now then um, because I wouldn't have to go through so much. Um, and just trying to figure out what I want to do, you know, as far as cleaning routine. And so um, we got that in order now. So I just can't wait to share with you guys, like, just more of this lifestyle that I've chosen and, um, yeah, so if you made it this far, guys, definitely go ahead and subscribe, thumbs up, go ahead and support your girl, share uh, the video, uh, mention me on Instagram, um, yeah, tell your friends, your family about your girl, it's Andrea Michelle Sis, um, and I love meeting new people, um, and so definitely go ahead and turn on all post notifications. Everything that I'm mentioning right now is totally free. So don't think you have to be like subscribed in the membership, all that stuff. So, but anyways, this is all of my cleaning. Um, because we did do that. <laughs> we did that. Okay. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and clean out this sink. Sometimes like. We have an issue with cleaning our sinks and stuff like that, you guys. And I'm just one, like, I'm going to tell you the truth. When I got this little sink, a uh, new sink um, nozzle thing here, it was something I wanted. I knew it was going to be minimalist and I wanted it. I didn't want all this stuff around my sink. I needed room, space, and opportunity <laughs> to add something to my sink, like, you know, a little soap dish or something like that. Give it a little taste, a little flavor, because my sink was boring, okay? And so I'm one of those ones where I got this little, you know, sink thing here, hydrate thing here, and I don't know how to pretty much properly clean it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and find, like, some kind of uh, cleaner to clean it with. Because I want it to shine, like, always. Um, my mom said use vinegar. Uh, so vinegar and water will definitely clean it um, or get some done soap and stuff like that and clean it because um, I definitely do not want this to get broken or I don't want it to look like stained or anything like that. So I definitely want to keep it up, you know, keep it clean and stuff like that. When we move, I will not take this with me. I'll just leave it for the next person if they decide to keep it in the 
uh, this apartment. And just to let you guys know, this did cost me a, a, a enough, enough. I'm sorry, enough. Um, um, so, but I am not going to be like that. Um, because I know the next person that comes in this apartment may go through the same thing I went through in this apartment, just trying to get stuff fixed and stuff like that. So this won't be on their list. Of things to fix is I'm pretty sure it's going to be somebody uh, that um, is probably going to have to call in and stuff like that because these people that own this apartment pretty much just do what they do. <laughs> Y'all already know when you rent, people just do what they do. <laughs> but anyways, um, and they fix things when they want to. Um, so <laughs> I just love the little sponge. You guys know what I'm talking about. That sponge, I've like, I forgot the name of the sponge. So I'm just going to put some more soap and water here with the suds. And I'm going to go ahead and clean these room essentials, civil wares. They're in black. And this is why I'm changing my kitchen color because of the civil wear and the, the new uh, foods uh, processor that we're going to be getting to just really soon um but I got these on Christmas and I haven't even tried to wash them I took them out the packages and everything like that and I just wasn't up to it because I was sick you guys like the whole time I was so sick um and so if you guys didn't know really quick, I do have diabetes and then I was suffering. I'm always suffering from like allergies. Um, and so my allergies always are bad with the weather in Dallas, Texas, which is bipolar. Um, one day it could be cold. The next day it could be raining. The next day it just thunderstorming, snowing. No, <laughs> yeah, snowing. It was snowing off and on like a couple of months ago. And then it started raining and it got cold. It, get, it gets hot and it's just crazy. So I went ahead and washed it off camera and I'm putting them into the drawer where they need to go. Um, just for me to get not get stains on my silverware, I just use a drying towel. Um, I dry the silverware off and then I just place it in there with the drying towel. So we won't get any marks if that's any advice I can give to you. Um when cleaning your silverware if you don't want to get any extra marks on them afterwards just use your drying towel and that'll be um, a good thing to not be able to get any like residue on there and have to go back in and clean I've learned over the years like I really have um, and so I'm just trying to figure out me personally I like to figure out um, where I'm going to put everything and then I go in and touch the silver, <laughs> but I try to figure out where I'm going to put everything. Um, and so I really had, um, and organized that drawer with the silverware. So right now we're, I'm trying to just see like how I want to place things on top of the freezer because I don't want any, like a lot of stuff on top of that freezer. Um, and then also my boyfriend has like his own little snacks and my snacks and I can't stand when he touches my snacks. I'm one of those type of people where if I see it and I, I might want it then, but then when I get it, I don't want it if that makes any sense. So if I get a snack or something from the store, like I'll like save my snack, like I'll get home and I'll be like, I thought I really wanted that snack and I don't want that snack. But then my babe, he'll sit there and try to eat my snacks and it really ticks me off like you guys it really ticks me off when he eats my snacks so what I started doing is putting his snacks in his own little bin and I put my snacks in my own little bin so the bin that I'm doing right now is my snacks um I had these little bags that I don't know where I got these bags from I cannot recall where I got these bags at but I wish I had to remember where I got these bags at because I needed some more and they're more better than Ziploc bags I don't I don't I really don't know why, but to me, to just feel like they're more better. Um, and only thing that I really, I like the bags, but I wish that they were like a zippable bag, but, um, I'm okay with the whole time process. To, um, but I'm just putting some cookies, like portion sizing the cookies out and putting them in my little, um, snack container. Sis, I, this is a really great idea for us because 
at the end of the day, we don't want people touching our snacks. Like I, well, I might have a little time um, in a day where I just want to have a little wine. You know what I mean? Like treat yourself, especially if you're not trying to spend money and stuff like that. Treat yourself, put your little, you know, put your little snack board out on the table, some wine, um, little cheese, you know, girl, and get you some fragrant polish and your toast stuff and, you know, do your own feet, you know, and get you a nice warm thing of, um, um, water and put it in like a little bowl thing where you can put your feet in a tub thing where you can put your feet in and, you know, have your own little, you know, at home spa day where you ain't have to spend no money. You don't have to spend no money. You can always do it at home. But, um, so yeah, I'm just going to continue to do that and put like all the cookies and stuff in there. So basically what we're doing is just taking everything out the packages because we want to have as much room for everything. Um, and I'm just trying to get rid of stuff and all these bags because bags, boxes and stuff like that. Like I'm a recycle person. I love to recycle. And, but where I stay at now, they're trying to charge $25 for us to recycle in the recycle bin. And I don't get it. Like $25 to recycle. That's weird. And people are just trying to get money for everything these days. I feel like, and we're not at, at the end, we're not going to be able to live comfortably with all these prices going up and eggs. Oh my gosh. A six carton of eggs. Well, remember we used to get them for 99 cents y'all or a dollar in the stores. Now they're like three and four dollars, five dollars. Like we're not going to be able to live properly or comfortably if we don't have for one, like a decent job to provide um, because um, it's just not going to happen. So we all have to go on some kind of budget just to say so we can live properly. Um, and I just think it's just wrong, just wrong, like all these prices and stuff going up, gas, all that stuff going up is just wrong. So this is my whole in intake on minimal because, and this is what everything looks like in my bin. But like I was saying, this is my whole thing on minimal. It's saving me money, you guys, because I'm not going out there spending. Um, and then I do save money for certain things. Um, so with that, I, I'm just really happy that I decided to do this because even my friend told me like she saved over two to three thousand dollars just being in the house. And then during Christmas time, you just ask people to buy you things that you know you need in your house and you don't have to worry about it because, you know, you're going to get those things. So you don't have to come out your pocket to splurge. And this was one of the things that I asked, um, asked my mom for was the Black & Decker uh, food processor. Um, and she got it for me. Now, I love this food processor because it not only chops, not only shreds, but it purees. It purees all your food. So if you have new, um, like six month, nine month old baby toddlers that are still eating puree food, um, you definitely, definitely, you definitely, <laughs> um, can do that with this um and so i've never had a food processor but i wanted one and when my mom got it i was really really excited like i literally screamed um because i want to make i don't know if you guys ever heard but it's called cheesy potato i got and don't nobody got time to be slicing potatoes okay all freaking day okay um but yeah, I, this is why I wanted it and I wanted to for like, I can buy cheeses and stuff like that and shred my cheese and things like that. So yeah, that's why I really, really, really wanted it. Um, because I wanted to get like the block cheese, but I didn't want to get the block cheese and didn't have a, sh like a shredded thing. Um, and this is when minimal is coming to play because what just having black cheese and then just like your own little personal shredder, that's too much stuff going into your drawers, um, your silverware drawer. Anyways, um, your cooking utensil drawer, I believe. And so that's a lot of stuff that you have to go through just to shred some cheese. Okay. 
I don't want to be digging through my utensil drawer and like have to find all these different kind of utensils because I'm trying to shred some cheese. So like I said, you know what? I'm just going to get one, like a one object thing that I really need for the house and I'm going to stick with it. So you guys be looking out for this utensil drawer organization, my paper drawer organization, just everything organization because we're just doing a lot of minimalist things around here. Um, and my boyfriend's really on board. Then also we're going to be going to church <laughs> on Sunday. So I'm really excited about that. So 2023 is definitely going to be a great year uh, and a new start. Um, just, you know, going to be able to go to church together and stuff like that. Really excited, you guys. But anyways, I'm just going ahead and building this uh, chopper. I do not advise any kids to be around because that blade that I had in my hand, that thing was sharp. <laughs> so all parents be advised. No kids need to be messing with this. Um, this is strictly for grownups. <laughs> and if you're clumsy like me, um, get somebody else to do it for you. But this was so easy to build, you guys. It was like the easiest thing because it was already pre-built. Pre um, you just take it out the box, take it out the little paper thing, little plastic thing, and build it. Um, I did have the uh, dicer part on wrong. That's why you see me struggling. <laughs> um, but I do eventually figure it out. And yes, it was really easy to fix. And then I noticed when I was trying to lift it up, you guys, um, it has like little suction cups at the bottom. It has like the speeds and stuff like that. Um, and then it has like the little guard thing. So when you put your potato in there, you can push it down and you don't have to put your hands all up in it. Um, but yeah, that's the suction cups to the food processor, you guys. But I want to thank you guys in advance for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.